Wow. Just wow. When I started my channel in May of 2020, I had no idea how far I'd come. Last night, I had 100 subscribers, therefore completing a goal I'd set all those months ago. So, why not celebrate it? When I hit 50 subscribers, I did a recap of the history of the channel, and that did really well. Because of that, today I'm going to do that again, but with a twist. Every day in the history of the channel will be grouped into several different and unique periods so that I've gone through as a YouTuber. Now before we get into the video, I'd appreciate if you like your video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Okay, so our story begins on May 15th, 2020, when I uploaded my now very out of date introduction video. This kicks off this period I like to call Pre-Texas, since this period ran from the channel's creation to an end of the 10 day trip into uh, to Texas in June. During this period, my channel was a mess. My videos were not only unscripted, they were horrible quality. My biggest series at the times were Star Trek reviews that got almost no attention at all, and videos talking about strange weather that got a decent amount of traction for the time. My sub games were also very erratic, you know, with many of them coming from friends and family. On June 14th, I posted a video that ended that hiatus, dating to before the Texas trip began. From here until the beginning of August, my channel was extremely undefined, so I'm going to call this the undefined period. My videos bounced around from topic to topic, uh, from personal thoughts to weather videos. In addition, my channel was basically stagnant. Between June 15th and July 31st, I gained just 8 subscribers, uh, compared to 14 in the first month of the channel. There was also a ton of whiplash. One of my friends more or less ditched his support after seeing declining video quality at the end of June, causing me to lose 3 or 4 subscribers that were really alt account. So, finally, I started to actually adapt scripts to my videos during this period, specifically in the middle of July. Finally, on August 2nd, things took an interesting twist. I uploaded a video about two tropical cyclones on opposite sides of the world, which gained a decent amount of traction. This kickstarted a period where weather videos dominated the channel. Most of the videos from August and early September were of hurricane and typhoon updates, uh, with some talking about less tropical weather events. Also during this time, my channel started to gain a bit of momentum. I was at 22 subs at the beginning of August, but by September 4th, that was up to 37. The next day, September 5th, something remarkable happened. I posted a video on an active typhoon, which seemed innocent enough. Dang it, that video exploded. In less than two days, it had over 100 views, absolutely smashing my viewership records for one video in one day. This marked the beginning of the first golden age, especially a period where my videos did very, very well. For most of September, my views were very high for the time, frequently surpassing 15, 20 views a day. Subgroup was also consistent, and I hit 50 subs on the 27th. The next day, I dropped my 50 sub special, and it too kinda blew up. What happened was the same friend that had ditched me earlier had thrown his support back into the channel, and then promoted the channel on his Snapchat. The result was 15 new subscribers in one day, which is still a record even now, and a video that was the first to blow up purely because of the efforts of friends and family. At the same time, I started to diversify, diversify away from weather content. Thanks for looking up for the channel. That is, until I fell off a horse. The date was October 4th, 2020. For those not in the know, I had just broken my femur in three different places, which, for those, again, not in the know, is the bone on the top of your leg. What followed was weeks of painful recovery, medicine, and surgery. This caused a new era to get ushered in, the broken era. My channel entered a period of slow decline after the break, mainly due to lower motivation during the recovery. November in particular was a weird month. I had videos doing very, very well, especially one where I talked about going back to school with a broken leg, but it was still a month of overall decline. Set decline culminated in a 10-day hiatus in mid-December, where I took a break to get my thoughts back together and regain motivation. Finally, on December 20th, the radio silence broke. What fault was the revitalization era, where I essentially got my channel back on track. At this point, I was closing in on 90 subscribers, and my views were starting to recover. In early January, I took a five-day trip to Florida, and unlike the Texas trip, I still recorded videos, albeit lower quality ones. In fact, January 12, 2021 was the most recent day I had single digit view counts. That return from Florida marked the start of the second golden age, an era we are still in today. 
There have been large view spikes over the past few weeks, but even without them, my views are still extremely elevated compared to any part of point earlier in the channel. In fact, it's been over a week since I dropped below 30 views in one day. Those view spikes combined with subscriber runs have that have ultimately resulted in reaching the coveted 100 sub milestone. So, what's next? Well, it's safe to say I won't hit another milestone for a long time. If it took me this long to reach 100, then I'm looking at multiple years before I hit 250 or 500. However, what matters is that people are watching my videos and I enjoy making them. I have no idea if I'll undergo another life-changing event in the near future or not. Whatever happens, my videos are always there, so if I skip a day or two, you can always rewatch an older video. And as always, thank you for helping the rest of us reach this amazing milestone. And as always, I would appreciate if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Thanks and have a great day.